on the relation between the incidence angle and the refraction angle. Click each tab to learn more. The aim is to find the relation between incidence angle and refraction angle. The required materials used in the experiment are a plank, white chart, protractor, small black painted plank of thickness nearly 2 cm, pencil, semicircular glass and laser light. Let us follow the procedure. Take a white chart on a wooden plank. Draw two lines perpendicular to each other at the center. Let the point at which these two lines intersect be O. Mark one line as NN. It is normal to the another line MM. The lines MM and NN represents the interface of two media and the normal drawn O respectively. Take a protractor and place it along NN in such a way that its center coincides with point O. Mark the angles starting from 0 degrees to 90 degrees on either sides of the line NN. Repeat the same procedure on the another side of the line NN. The angles must be indicated on the circular line. Now, put a semicircular glass disc on the paper. Then the diameter of semicircular glass disc coincides with the interface line MM in a way that its center coincides with point O. Take a laser light. Pass it along the line NN such that its propagation takes place from A to glass through the interface at point O. Now, observe the path in which the laser light propagates from the other side of disc. If you cannot see the path of laser light propagation, place a black colored plank against the circular line. Then observe the light point on it and imagine the path in which the light should have passed. Pass laser light along the line, making an angle of incidence 15 degrees with NN which travels through the interface at point O. Determine its equivalent angle of refraction by monitoring the laser light coming from another side of the glass lab. Note down the values properly. Repeat the same procedure for different incidence angles like 20 degrees, 30 degrees, 40 degrees, 50 degrees and 60 degrees. Calculate sin I and sin R and estimate the ratio of sin I and sin R for each value of incidence angle. Finally, a constant ratio of sin i and sin r is obtained. We observe that the ratio of sin i and sin r is called the refractive index of glass. In this experiment, it is clear that value of r is less than that of i in every case and the light rays tends to move towards the normal in every case. Inference Finally, it can be concluded that when a light ray passes from rarer medium A to denser medium glass, the value of R is less than the value of I and the refracted ray bends towards the normal. Let us now learn about the case when a light ray bends away from the normal. 